Mount Street Helens is not currently erupting, but to many in Washington and Northern Oregon, the volcano appears to have suddenly reawakened as strong winds are blowing away ash left over from a historic eruption 45 years ago. Strong winds in parts of Washington state have blown away volcanic ash deposited during the 1980 eruption of Mount Street Helens, creating hazy conditions and reducing air quality. According to the U.S. Geological Survey, this phenomenon, known as ash rest suspension, occurs when dry, loose ash is lifted back into the air by strong winds. The area around Mount Street Helens has experienced persistent dry weather and is currently facing severe drought conditions. Commercial pilots in the area have reported resuspended ash, which the USGS says should be considered hazardous due to its potential to damage aircraft and impact human health. Photos of the volcano, located in the Cascade Mountains of southern Washington, show plumes of ash floating around the crater and surrounding area. The U.S. Geological Survey reassured residents that there is no change in the volcano alert level or aviation color code at this time. Mount Street Helens remains at a normal activity level. A strong thermal trough over western Washington draws strong easterly winds across the Cascade Mountains, stirring up decades-old volcanic debris. Winds at the time were estimated to be between 30 and 50 miles per hour. Recent dry weather is also a factor. The area around Mount Street Helens has received less than 25% of its average rainfall over the past 30 days. This phenomenon is not caused by recent volcanic activity and sometimes occurs during strong winds and dry snowless conditions in the Mount Street Helens area, the USGS continued. However, resuspended volcanic ash should be considered hazardous and can harm aircraft and health. Easterly winds are expected to subside and the ash will fall again. This is a far cry from the catastrophic chaos that engulfed the volcano on the 18th of May 1980 when weeks of volcanic rumbling culminated in a catastrophic eruption and devastated the surrounding area. Meanwhile, a University of Utah research team has achieved a breakthrough that solves a long-standing mystery behind one of the world's most closely watched natural wonders, the Yellowstone Supervolcano. Despite constant fears of a catastrophic eruption, the volcano has remained quiet for hundreds of years. The research team claims to have identified a lid that likely prevents the volcano from erupting. The findings indicate that scientists have discovered a vast layer of molten rock about 3.8 kilometers 2.4 miles beneath Yellowstone. This layer acts like a lid, trapping heat and pressure beneath the Earth's surface. The researchers studied Yellowstone's underground structure using seismic imaging and advanced computer models, revealing new details about the depths of its magma system. The research also shows that about half of this magma layer is filled with gas bubbles, and beneath it lies superheated water and rhyolite magma, known for its explosive eruptions. However, researchers say Yellowstone is safe for now because it gradually releases gas through porous rock, which helps reduce pressure and lowers the risk of an eruption. This system appears to vent gas efficiently through cracks and channels between mineral crystals, which makes sense considering Yellowstone has abundant hydrothermal vents that emit magmatic gases.